Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We got a tug bringing up a barge here, so I say we go fly on it and take a look from above. So I've already checked hover, I'm good to go. So I've got it out of sport mode. I'm gonna go ahead and launch. And uh, I've also got the, uh, the 16ND on this one. So I want to start video. Why does it look like my video is drifting? So I should have that started. And let me turn here so I get a little... So let's take it out there a little bit. And let's get it up there as we watch it. So we're at a good position, about 100 feet up. And then maybe what we'll do is uh, when it comes back around, we'll kind of track it up a little bit. Uh, I may even give active track a try. I don't know how that'll work. But... Uh, yeah, these, uh, these barges, because a lot of times there's a uh, module that plugs into the back of some of these that drives it. That way they can drop them off, go pick up another one, and that kind of stuff. But in this case, we have a tug pulling it uh, up lake. So uh, always rather interesting scenery here on the lake. And so I'm going to actually take it out a little bit. I seem to be getting a little bit of drift. Well, I think it's just my fat fingers actually on the stick. So I'm taking it out there a little bit as it'll move into frame. And I'll take it up a little bit more. So that's got a good framing. So the picture definitely appears to be a little bit darker, actually quite a bit darker than the last flight with the 16ND uh, filter on it. And we're just uh, taking it out there a little bit more. I'm going to hold tight right about there and just pan and maybe kind of drop in behind it because I'm right about over there. Actually, I can I can still see it. I'm yeah I'm out there almost a thousand feet. Really, really clear today that I can see the spark out there about a thousand feet sitting in the air. So. A lot of glare on the screen, though. A lot of sun. I've got to get uh, design up some new sun shields. But uh, you know, he's moving pretty quick up lake. So he's uh, obviously heading between the two buoys. He's in the shipping channel out there. And uh, so, anyways, very very cool stuff. Um, love capturing the stuff out on the lake. That guy, he's still sitting up there. He's parked. He must be waiting for something. Usually, when it gets congested through here, they park out there and they wait for traffic but i really did maybe he's waiting on this guy to come up um that could very well be didn't think of that so uh, uh let's let's yaw this back around a little bit and we still got pretty good battery life so let's uh let's follow him out a little bit and yaw it oh i'm only out there about 500 or so feet i thought i was out further and that's why I could see it so good. So I'm kind of yawning and tracking outward at the same time. Should be able to see on the screen recording. So I'm kind of matching pace with him a little bit. Yeah, the seagulls. Let's get a little bit more. So we got the we got the buoy. So we're we're gonna kind of trace him up that way. So we're gonna keep it going because in a way that'll kind of bring it back towards us a little bit as it flies up to that buoy because that buoy is just a little bit up from me. So that'll put me in a good position for return to home. But I'm this thing claims I'm doing real good on battery. But you know what? I think it's lying to me. And we have another tug coming up. So let's spin around. 
let's watch this guy come up so there we have this other tug coming up and uh, he's coming up I'm up at 100 feet so I'm pretty good should be no problems to clear him and we got him coming in it looks like uh, the camera is running about 1 3 20th of a second on the shutter speed ISO about 100 and again we got this guy he's moving up like so we got some pretty good video of him I'm just watching the battery because I don't know it's kind of strange because you should be able to see on the screen recording it's showing me about eight minutes but I'm down to about 63 percent 62 percent so I don't know usually at about this time I'm far lower than this so um, I'll keep it going for a little bit more it'll since the percentage is, is panning correct so that guy's still out there and uh, so I wonder where these guys are going so maybe he is sitting out there waiting on these two to come up up lake well we'll know if he starts moving down if he pulls anchor and starts moving down now the, these guys are headed up because uh, you probably can't see it on the camera but see these the two buoys that are out here there's another set way out there now we've flown on them at that other beach that I've typically flown out of up there in the past um, you know so that's again kind of delineates the road for these guys and I'm about down about 56 and so I want to gimbal down a little bit on this guy catch him in the yaw sequence so you can see he's now passing the buoys out here too I'm just kind of yawing to track him I'm staying pretty much in position and so he's heading up there so you can see I'm bringing back the uh, the other target tug and barge in the frame so he's uh, moving a lot faster than they are but of course he's empty so uh, We'll kind, of, we'll kind of track that for another minute or two. And I'm going to take this out closer to this buoy now. Because again, it'll put me in a little bit better position for a return to home. And let's do that. Let's yaw them. And uh, really nice views out here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the ND filter really does this justice. And knocks down some of the the light on this if you will and so those guys are catching up pretty quick uh, I wonder what he intends on doing or if he's uh, with the other guy or he's going to another job or what have you so uh, always fascinating to watch what's happening out here on the water so uh, always something new and interesting almost every day so again interesting interesting place to fly so I'm hanging out right about up over there and uh, I'm now headed down to about 44%. So, and I definitely got video going. So he's catching up. I'm going to wait until about 40, then just issue return to home. And uh, yeah, he's getting up in there. Yeah, let's, let's gimbal back up a little bit. So now he's, he's overtaking those guys, so uh, interesting. Well, I'm down around 40% now, and I'm not too far out there, so I'm pretty safe to hang out a little bit more uh, before issuing the return to home. You can see the wakes they're throwing up. That's just, that's just beautiful from above that uh, we got those kind of wakes. And you can hear the you know wakes hitting the shoreline. So... I'm starting to get pretty low so I tell you what they're getting out there a ways I'm gonna issue the return to home and uh, no I don't want to land aircraft now push the wrong button slide to return to home that would be bad if I if I landed that aircraft out there all right so aircraft is returning to home it's gone to its safe altitude of 100 feet I keep it at about 100 feet out here because most of the time I'm flying over the lakes or even inland with most of the trees. Most of the trees are about, you know, 60, 70 feet. So usually I'm pretty good at 100. Um, so we're bringing this back in. And 
construction. We're closing at about 200 feet. There we are, right up there, just as we're supposed to be. And we're coming in for a landing, folks. So this is all good stuff. Uh, we got some good video of the uh, barges and stuff out there. Hopefully this other guy will come down. Maybe we'll get a couple freighters or a freighter or two coming up. So uh, we still got another battery for another episode. So unfortunately I forgot one battery at home, so I'm only going to get three episodes out of this flight sequence. And uh, she definitely wants to land where it landed the last time. So let's see if we can hit a little bit closer. And so let's bring it down. Bump it back. Bump it over, bump it over a little bit. Come on, baby. And let's, whoa. All right, well that kind of tipped over a little bit as I landed on the edge, but uh, I think we're probably pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're good. So anyways, another great flight of the Spark over Lake Huron. We got a couple tugs and everything, so uh, with that, oh, I want to make sure I save out the video before I do something silly. So I do that, and I'm also going to save out the screen recording, so that's done. So hey, let me know what you guys are thinking for lunch, and uh, hey, pound that thumbs up button, click the subscribe over there, and uh, comment in the comments below. We'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.